This is a screenshot from Mass Effect Andromeda. This was taken using Ansel and uh, updated with filters. Uh, the reason Ansel exists is because we realized a couple years ago, or even more, that the gaming community is very interested in art and making their art from games as a source material. So we wanted to do whatever we could to in encourage the gaming community uh, and give them tools to let them uh, take screenshots better, to take different kinds of screenshots. And so that's, that's kind of where Ansel was born from. Uh, and then after, after we released it, we've been adding new features to it in over time. Currently, Ansel allows a, a number of different features um, above and beyond what you would get with just a print screen screen capture or normal in-game screen captures. Uh, it allows you to get a free camera if the application um, decides that that's what they want. And then the user, while playing the game, can pause the game, then move the camera wherever they want, take a quick screenshot, and get the optimal angle for the action that they want to capture. Um, there's a number of filters that you can layer on top, from vignetting to contrast and brightness and depth of field and, and various others. I encourage you to try it out in some Ansel supported games if you want a, a full list of that. It's really uh, quite thorough. Uh, you can save in raw format, so you can save the, the floating point buffers in HDR format and then do touch-ups later in a, a tool that supports that. Uh, you can expose uh, super resolution screenshots, which is probably the most well-known feature of Ansel. You can save a print uh, quality screenshot from the game. Uh, something that is of, of high enough DPI that you can actually print it on a poster and it looks really good and not blurry. Uh, and then 360 screenshots, uh, suitable for viewing in a 360 viewer on the desktop or in a, HD, like a HMD like with Vive or Oculus. Again, this is a, these are some examples of screenshots that people have taken through Ansel uh, to get that, that awesome camera angle or that awesome filter so that they can post to social media and really just enjoy the games that they already love in a different way. Star Wars Battlefront and Hellblade, all, all titles that are, are really fun to play with Ansel. And the, the game integration is easy, and I'm going to go over it really quickly here in review. But in, in Witcher, it, they had 150 lines of code. Um, your mileage may vary depending on uh, the nature of your rendering engine and how much of the Ansel feature set you want to take advantage of. But in general, it's pretty easy uh, to get started, and then you, you can evaluate against what you want. And, and as an example, Witcher 3, which is one of the earlier Ansel full integrations, has had over 2 million Ansel photos published, uh, posted online by users that really are in that community. And it, it really helped them and their game to engage the community and, and generate like buzz around their game post-release. Uh, and this uh, year at GDC, we're announcing a shot with GeForce portal, which allows uh, gaming users who take Ansel screenshots to automatically post those to the shot with GeForce website. Uh, and then also provides a place for people to view uh, uploaded screenshots for various games. Shotwithgeforce.com. As far as the SDK, we're going to start talking a little bit more technically now. The SDK is available as a C++ SDK on the NVIDIA Gameworks Git. Uh, it's also available in Unreal Engine from 4.14 plus, just in the main line. You don't need uh, any special uh, Git or other uh, version or branch of the engine. Uh, and as a Unity plugin, which you can download off the Asset Store. To, to get even a little bit more technical, we're going to go to a fair technical level in this review, um, but the, it, it's, it's not necessarily uh, needed to understand everything that I'm going through technically. The documentation definitely covers all of the, the really deep technical stuff in much more detail than I'm going to cover in this talk. But Ansel fundamentally is two parts, stuff that ships with our driver and stuff that ships with the game, uh, driver and or GeForce experience. So in the game, it's the C++ SDK that I mentioned you can get off Git or in the engine that you're using will already have integrated that C++ SDK. And that talks with our driver through the Ansel core. Uh, if you have GeForce Experience installed, it'll talk to GeForce Experience. If you don't, it'll talk to our driver. Uh, and then it makes use of a, a thin driver shim to capture the buffers as they go through and save them off to your hard disk. In order to get access to these S the SDK, uh, and download that off of our Git work, GitHub, you need to register with the developer.nvidia.com and then access it via the Ansel uh, page. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you haven't registered already, you should quickly register. There's a lot more than just Ansel on our GitHub and on our developer program, so a lot of things that you can, you can check out there. So the GitHub kind of looks like this. Um, it, it's a pretty standard C++ SDK. I mean, you've got docs include live and redist. Uh, it's a standard for our game works, is what I mean. We have headers, uh, live files that you link to your application, and DLLs that you would ship with your application uh, for runtime. 
Uh, and there's also a SDK integration sample that you can use for, um, for code examples of how to use the Enzo SDK.